What's up guys? I had a little bit of a ridiculous epiphany this morning and well, I've driven about an hour and a half for one picture. So all my kayaking buddies out there, you'll know exactly where this bridge is. It's the Harmon Den Bridge. I'm gonna head up to something I don't know that too many people know about. A place called Buzzard's Roost. Never been up here. Some people said four wheel drive is definitely required and this road isn't maintained. And other people said, well, you can send it with something less. So uh, we've got the Outback Wilderness today and uh, we're gonna see what we can get into. Well, we just made it up here. Uh, I haven't walked down just yet, but speaking of the road, uh, well, fortunately and unfortunately, there's not much excitement. It's totally maintained gravel road all the way up here. There's houses, there's a farm, there's uh, so they're pulling cattle trailers up here. So nothing to worry about. Definitely can make it in whatever car you got. Scramble time. All right, I'm gonna set the camera down because uh, this is stout. They left out the part that that's an overhanging slab. I don't think anybody's gonna understand uh, how undercut This place is steep. I don't know how else to put it. And there's a waterfall down there. Well, that was definitely worth 60 minutes to drive all the way over here. Let's see what else I can get into while I'm out here. There's gotta be something, right? Well, I just found the snow line from the last video. Google has this road marked as Tower Trail. They're high voltage towers, not a fire tower. We're at 14 degrees. I have foundeth the chunk. So definitely a different style of video for today, but I, uh, ever since I saw a photo of Buzzard Roost, I definitely had to get up there. It's just this clipped out face that doesn't make any sense. And having paddled the dry as I've stared at it from the base and always wondered, huh, it'd be sweet to get up there. And uh, well, there's a road, believe it or not. So most of what's back here, um, it's all totally maintained gravel roads. Um, there's plenty of like turnoffs that are like side by side, four wheeler trails. Uh, if you wanna go get caked in mud, if that's your thing. I just passed a couple guys hunting as well. So I think there's a lot of just like unmarked access roads and forest service roads back here. But aside from that, uh, I'm gonna wrap things up here. I hope you guys enjoyed the photos and uh, get out and shoot some if you're a photographer yourself. And other than that, uh, I'm gonna go home and I'm gonna edit the last video that I uploaded that you guys hopefully have already seen. If you haven't, uh, that's up on the channel and uh, hopefully edit this one too and go ahead and stockpile some footage. So. I'm gonna leave you guys at that. If you haven't already subscribed to the channel, please feel free to do so. Uh, it helps me out a lot and grow on this channel. So with that, I'll see you guys in the next one.